Hello learners. In this session, we are going to learn about computer memories. Let's begin with the definition of memory. Memory is an essential element of a computer. Without its memory, a computer is of hardly any use. Memory plays an important role in saving and retrieving data. The performance of the computer system depends upon the size of the memory. Memory is of following types. Primary memory or volatile memory. Secondary memory or non-volatile memory. Let's study about primary memory. Primary memory is internal memory of the computer, RAM and ROM both form part of primary memory. The primary memory provides main working space to the computer. The following terms comes under primary memory of a computer. The first is random access memory or RAM. The primary storage is referred to as random access memory because it is possible to randomly select and use any location of the memory, directly store and retrieve data. It takes same time to any address of the memory as the first address. RAM RAM is also called read-write memory, the storage of data and instructions inside the primary storage is temporary. It disappears from RAM as soon as the power to the computer is switched off. The memories which lose their content on failure of power supply are known as volatile memories. So now we can say that RAM is a volatile memory. Let's study about read-only memory or ROM. The image on the screen represents the ROM. There is another memory in computer which is called read-only memory. Again, it is the ICs inside the PC that form the ROM. The storage of program and data in the ROM is permanent. The ROM stores some standard processing programs supplied by the manufacturers to operate the personal computer. The ROM can only be read by the CPU but it cannot be changed. The basic input-output program is stored in the ROM that examines and initializes various equipment attached to the PC when the power switch is on. The memories which do not lose their content on failure of power supply are known as non-volatile memory and hence ROM is a non-volatile memory. Now let's study about secondary storage devices. Secondary storage devices are non-volatile and used to store huge amount of data. The data in the secondary storage devices are not directly accessed by CPU. The computer usually uses input and output channels to access data from the secondary devices to transfer data to an intermediate area in the main memory. The data from the secondary storage devices can be accessed in just milliseconds. Now let's study about hard disk. Hard disk drives are non-volatile magnetic storage devices to store vast amount of data. An electromagnet in the read-write head charges the disk surface with either a positive or negative charge. The read-write head is then capable of detecting the magnetic charges left on the disk surface. This is how data is read. And another type of secondary storage devices is compact disk. Compact disk or CD are circular disks that use optical rays, usually lasers, to read and write data. They are very cheap as you can get 700 MB of storage space 
for less than a dollar. CDs are inserted in CD drives built into CPU cabinet. They are portable as you can eject the drive, remove the CD and carry it with you. Now let's see some types of CD. First is CD-ROM or compact disc read-only memory. The data on these CDs are recorded by the manufacturer. Proprietary software, audio or video are released on CD-ROMs. CD-R or compact disc recordable. Data can be written by the user once on the CD-R. It cannot be deleted or modified later. Another is CD-RW. Compact disk rewritable, hence the data can be written and deleted on these optical disks again and again. DVD drive DVD stands for Digital Video Display. DVD are optical devices that can store 15 times the data held by CDs. They are usually used to store rich multimedia files that need high storage capacity. DVDs also come in three varieties, read-only, recordable and free writable as we studied about CD.